Okay, we're coming into Trinidad, Colorado from the north, and we're going to be headed south on I-25 out of Trinidad to go up into Santa Fe Trail Ranch to look at a custom house, 105 acres, incredible views, and the house is built out of a lot of historical objects and places from around this area. Now we're going through about the middle of town of Trinidad, downtown, you're seeing that to your left. It's better if you're on that side. Nice old historical mining town. The Fisher's Peak State Park is right up there. Access is from, well, back up there. You can see the Sangre de Crisos back that direction. You have a La Quinta and Holiday Inn. Walmart down here. If you go back behind here, you're at Trinidad Lake, Trinidad Lake in no time. And of course you can get up to the Fisher's Peak. This is Raton Pass. 30 years ago, when I was coming over this, actually longer than that, 40 years ago, it was a single lane road. And we had a lot more moisture in Colorado at that point in time. It's only time, there used to be an old ski area at the top of the pass, just to give you that. Okay, idea. we're coming to exit six, which is Galenus. Galenus. And there's a new bridge that the, the association built. Needed it for a long time. They also, they also have cameras and things at the beginning of the ranch. There's 450 something tracks in this ranch. Like I say, it has city water and power and phone to all the tracks. This track is made up of 105 acres, three tracks. We're going to take a right when we get to this. Now you're going to see Fisher's Peak in the background again over Trinidad. It's only about four miles, three and a half to four miles to exit six going south out of Trinidad. It'll take a total of about 25 minutes to get down to Trinidad from after you drive through the ranch. It might be shorter than that. So we come to Cottonwood Canyon and they have trash service for all the properties at these different canyons that feed down to the main road, which is I-25 or the main access point. This is Cottonwood Canyon. There's community places in this ranch too to fish to fish on and enjoy and driving through the ranch on your quads or whatever you have or horses is really nice. We're coming to the top of Galenus, no Cottonwood Canyon, I'm sorry, Cottonwood Canyon. We're going to take a left on Mountain View and you can see the reason why they call it that. You have the Spanish Peaks over to the north west, the Sangre de Cristos, leading all the way over into Mexico. You can see mountains including Wheeler Peak in New Mexico, where I believe it's Taos Mountain is at. And that's where we came from. This is Cottonwood Canyon. I-25 is down there. South is Raton. And north is Trinidad. We came up Cottonwood Canyon right there. We're going to be taking a right here pretty soon. To start heading to the properties to the west. So the views when you saw when we came up, Galenus at the top, you're gonna to see from this property, even more so. Okay, we're gonna pass, um, this is Timber Ridge Lane to the right. We're still on Mountain View. Okay. 
This is another right hand turn you could take. This is Cedar Ridge Lane, means it ends in Mountain View. We're still in Mountain View. Yeah, right past the one that we just talked about, you're gonna see Chipmunk Drive, Mountain View. Don't go left. There are other ways, there are many ways you can drive in and out of this ranch. And at nice too, you can hike and you can plan out trails or riding your bike. That's corner drive going down there. So the next one on the right is gonna be going to the property. We're not too far from the right hand turn we want to go to. See this barn. This house. Should be taking a ride pretty soon. Nice place. We stay on Mountain View. You just want to stay on Mountain View. This is Porcupine Court down that way. We're going to be coming to the right hand turn. It'll be right here. Mountain View, and we're going on to Sunset Drive. Sunset Drive. We're driving in on Sunset Drive. You can see the topo. We're headed west. We come to, before we get to the house, on this one in the middle, the house is out here, about where that center top is. Right there. Further out, actually. See the road? There's a little driveway. I'm gonna show the little driveway right here on this track. And this one doesn't have a driveway, but there's two points. And here you can come down here and, and do something if you'd like. Zoom in a little more, you can really see those mountains. There's a cabin there. Should be coming to property here real quick. This is Sunset Drive as we came in. If you look at the topo aerial in the aerial map, I passed the first 35 that you could drop down into and, and uh, make other places. It's the gate. Just unlocked it. And then the, as you see on the topo and the aerial, <coughs> This is another track. This is the track on the north side of the 35 with the house. <laughs> Probably corner and pin. And water from the city. Where you could take off. There's another nice bench if you look at the topo right down in here. You could look up the valley and see the mountains. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the house. And I'll fly my drone over everything. I just backed up a little bit and then uh, to drive through the gate. The house is gonna be up here on the hill. It has a garage too. You're getting a first time looking impression as we go. It was made for privacy. So that 105 acres you have, boy, you can see all the way. This is what you see when you first drive up. The mountains are hard to tell in the video, but I think that's about right size. It's gonna be raining here this afternoon. Back there. 
the window, so there's two windows in the garage. Alright, let's walk around this. Because it's logs, and you get a you have sap coming out all the time. Asphalt shingles on that roof. Metal on this one. This needs to be refinished. The deck feels good and strong. Nice lacquer underneath here. They did the bottoms and the beams. This was built by Wayne Arnold. Handcrafted. Except for the logs that were required. You can look him up, Wayne Arnold out of La Vida, Colorado. He built a lot of nice homes around here. There's Fisher's Peak. Looks about. About like that when you're standing here. I have my fisheye lens on to give the wider angle zooms. everything out there this is nice under here hmm. <coughs> your dove down there This video does not do this justice. The clouds are moving in today and from the west as usual. And with this lens, you can't see it like I'm seeing it. Five acres to the south that point right there where there's no road coming in where I did not identify it when we we're driving in somebody could put place right there be supreme it's nice to have this 105 you're not gonna have anybody at your entrance and not right there This is going to be the cistern that's hooked up to the city water coming from the main road down to here. There's a crawl space underneath. I'll take a look at that. This is incredible. Let's see, look at this. It's bigger when you're standing here. Okay. Let's go look in the house. Sun tears this up. Okay. 
Okay, before we go in the house, hey, they always check you out flying around. Who's here? Before we go in the house, we're in the garage, full log. Garage. Everything's been stained or lacquered on the underneath of all the roofing. So it's two car, but one entry. Plenty of room to do something. Okay, turn all the lights on. Can you go in the house? A lot of this woodwork, all these banishers and everything were made from ancient history around here. Handmade. Difficult to get the lighting right. All the windows. And you're surrounded by the, um, so this cabinetry here, all this log work and everything for, from old places around here historically. Insert. If you're here, that'll heat this whole place. Especially with the log insulation. This is the deck outside we've been walking around. There's two bedrooms down here. And the master is upstairs. Electric heat baseboard all through the house with controls in different bedrooms. This tile work and the granite comes from special places. The living living room furniture does not come with the house, but the furniture the bedrooms does log log furniture beds and it's just one of the ways my camera settings are different for outside He closed those, all the blinds and I get better shots. There's so much light in here my camera cannot, cannot adjust. It's soft light, natural. Okay, take a look at the bedrooms. Can't see the fireplace because the We have a guest bath, full bath on the main floor. This window goes, looks out towards the garage in the back of the house we drove up and drove up on. 
in my settings of my camera for inside. One of the bedrooms, closet. These are solid. This would have been handmade with a lot of the things to finish off the trim on the logs. This is the other bedroom downstairs. You could use this as a master. Come out of the master upstairs, deck out here, some repair. You look at the Spanish peaks to the west. Nice metal roof, it's in good condition. <laughs> 